And then here, وَمَا كَفَرَ Suleiman. In other words, مَا كَفَرَ Suleiman بِالسَّحَرِ He didn't use magic, as some of them claim. The Book of Solomon is a, a cult book, claiming that it was this magic that Solomon had. So, kufr, uh, sihr is kufr in, in Islam. Not sha'wada, like, you know, Muhammad Ali used to do coin tricks and things like that. That's, that's different. I mean, that's makru. <laughs> but but, uh, but sihr is magic, incantations, invoking, putting spells on people, doing these things. That's kufr. وَلَكِنَّ الشَّيَاطِينَ كَفَرُوا they were the ones that used the magic. So the, he calls them the obsessive were ungrateful. And if you look at his argument for using that term, it's very interesting. Um, because it's, it gets to the root of what shaitan is about. يُعَلِّمُونَ النَّاسَ السَّحْرَ وَمَا أُنزِرَ عَلَى الْمَلَكَيْنِ بِبَابِرَ هَارُوتَ وَمَارُوتَ and what, what came down to the angels at Babylon. So Babel is near Al-Kufa in Al-Iraq. In, in, the, in the country of Iraq, there was a place, Babel. And Babylon, the, the Scarlet Lady, the Whore of Babylon, the, Babylon is in the Old Testament. They were very, very profligate people, diverted, uh, and they were warned, and, and they were destroyed. So Babylon is everything negative in the Old Testament. Is, personified in Babylon. So these two angels, Amadikani bi Babada Harut and Marut, Wamayu Alimani Manahadan Hataya Kula in a manahnu fitna. So Harut and Marut are these two angels. There's khilaf about this and you'll get into uh, you know uh, Ibn Ibn Hajar actually says the hadith about them being given free will. Uh, they were they were the most worshipful among the angels and all the angels were complaining about humans because constantly there was all this uh, these horrible the angels would bring their reports on what humans were doing and it was all just negative and corruption and all these things and so Harut and Marut uh, were given the free will and then they because of that they lost their Malakiyah they lost their uh, their angelic nature and were given human nature and they did what humans did. And so it was to show the angels that um, that's one opinion. So, but you'll, you'll see different things. But the point is they did teach. And, but they said, fitna. we are a test. And that's, that's one of the fundamental. Fitna also in the Quran means different things. It can mean sedition. It can mean uh, civil strife. Right, so like civil war is called fitna. Al fitna is to a shadu min al qatri. So, uh, but here it means test. We are a fitna. Because fatana, yaftinu, the original meaning of it in Arabic is to test gold for dross. So when you, when you heat up gold, you test it for dross. And that's why when things break out, when fitna breaks out, you see who's gold, you see who's silver, you see who's copper, and you see who's toxic lead. Like people really reveal themselves in fitna. And that's why it's such a useful word in that way. Because whenever fitna, when fitness come, suddenly people that never do anything, they're full of energy, they're on the phone, and did, oh, did you know this and that? And they're just, whoa, whoa, where were you? Like, you never volunteered at the mosque. I tried to get you to volunteer for the bake sale. You were too busy. But now that there's a fitna, you have so much free time. Uh, very interesting, humans, yeah. Uh, and the worst ones are your beast friends, right? Yeah. فَلَا تَكْفُرْ Do not be unfaithful. فَيَتَعَلَّمُونَ مِنْهُمَا مَا يُفَرِّقُونَ بِهِ بَيْنَ الْمَرْءِ وَزَوْجِ And this is really demonic because the worst thing that you can do is separate between a family. So when there's love in a family, when there's a bond and people that separate that. In fact, in the Hadith Sahih, which is in Sahih Muslim, Iblis, you know, it's, it says that Iblis uh, al He put his throne on water because 
God's throne is on water. So Iblis is a great mimicker. When I first went to, to Las Vegas, I realized that it's a perfect imitation of, not perfect, stuff of the law, but it really looks like the area around Mecca. Like anybody who's been there and been to Mecca, they're struck by that fact. And, and, and Las Vegas is a international hajj of sin. People make pilgrimage from all over the world to Las Vegas to, to, to sin. It's called Sin City. And, and people go from all over the world to Mecca to, for piety. And so it's clear that he made his, his hajj there. I mean, that's Iblis. So he put his throne on water. And then uh, he ba'atha sarayahu. So he sent out his raiding parties. Sariya is a raiding party, a military term. So he sent out his saraya, his raiding parties. Like they're going out to raid human beings. That's what they do. fitna. And the one closest to him in station is the one that does the greatest harm in, in the raiding parties. So when they come back, so they come back and they say to Iblis, oh, and he's like on his throne, you're know, listening to him. They say, oh, I did such and such and such. And he said, you didn't do anything. You know, I got him to kill. You didn't do anything. I got him to steal. You didn't do anything. And then one of them, one of them, they say, I didn't leave him until I separated him from his wife. And Iblis says, Ni'ma anta, you're the, uh, you're the best. So that shows you, because all those other things come from that fundamental breakdown. Like all the social problems come from family breakdown. And that's why if you look in all these places where there's high crime, just look at the kids. Where's the father? Where, 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 was the, where was the father to discipline him, to show him the right way, to give him the path? It's all very clear. So that's why all those other things are nothing because from doing what the one he said, Ni'ma anta, he gets all those other things. So break the family, destroy the family, that's it. وَمَا هُمْ بِضَارِّينَ بِهِ مَنْ أَحَدٍ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ Yet they hurt no one thereby except by leave of God. And this is important because this is in the end our deen. You know, it's only by the idhan of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has permitted these things for a hikmah. And we have to respect that. We looked already at تَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُسْفِذُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَا You know, are you going to put in the earth the one who so makes trouble and trouble is a brilliant uh, translation when I, when I looked at it because I realized you know if you translate a facade as corruption that's only one aspect whereas if you look at trouble in the dictionary it's got all it's got civil strife in fact the troubles of Ireland are the civil war of Ireland they were called the troubles so it's got everything it's got mental troubles you know like he's in trouble with the law you know, so it, it really is a, it's actually a really good term for that at that point. But anyway, So they learn what would harm them, not what would benefit them. Uh, that those who had bought it had no share in the hereafter. Khalaq here is nasib that had no share in the and wretched was that for which they sold themselves if only they knew that's bi'sa is a fi'l jamid it's an interesting um, like bi'sa and ni'ma so one is the worst and the other is the best you know bi'sa rajulan zaydun you know what a good man zayd is or so لو أنهم آمنوا واتقوا لمثوبة من عند الله خير لو كانوا يعلمون. So if they had only they had been faithful and conscientious, the reward from the presence of God من عند الله would have surely been better if only they had known.